the company started with Tim Talon, and he built up a background of restoring antique aircraft. I worked at Tim's shop for two years, and then Tim was ready to retire. He gave me the name, but then I had to build the shop up, had to buy all the tools, kind of get all the infrastructure in, which I'm super grateful for Tim and everything he's taught me. The yin and yang is the beauty and the beast. PA-14 is a testament of perfection, beauty, make it perfect, make everything new. And the 175 is, it's all function. The looks weren't the driving force, it was what makes it perform. PA-14, they only made 237, so it was a very rare Piper aircraft. The baseline story for it was, let's make the most beautiful aircraft restoration that we can make, so every single part we made brand new, every single piece of paint, sheet metal we made from scratch, we restored it to be the nicest PA-14 on the planet. So we extended the wings, we added VGs, we extended the baggage, we extended the gear, put suspension on the airplane. We made it very versatile. This is a Lycoming 0320. One of the things that we really liked about this, one of the options STCs we did was the Sutton exhaust. Normally the 0320s have the exhaust pipe and the muffler wrapped back here, and so it clogs up a lot of this area and we were trying to, on this airplane, be extremely clean and extremely nice. So we went with the Sutton. We ended up sanding and polishing the exhaust just because we wanted that little touch. And then around this cutout here, we did the same thing. We riveted it on and polished a heat shroud so we wouldn't cook the paint. This pushed the limits of backcountry airplanes. And so for me, the learning experience of how nice you really can make a Bush aircraft and still have that function. So it's really, a, it's a very nice looking airplane, but it also performs. Yeah, the beauty, the PA-14 beauty, beautiful restoration, paint, interior, everything. And then this, the beast, the battle wagon. We stripped everything out of it that we didn't need. Uh, interior saved all the weight. Whatever we could find in the hangar kind of made the panel, cut the holes, stripped all of the non-essential stuff out. Just as basic as it gets. <laughs> we wanted something just to you know, get muddy and get dirty and go out and play on a budget. You know? and that's kind of where it ended up. The 175 isn't a hugely desirable airplane. Uh, they're pretty affordable right now. You can get one between twenty and $30,000, which grand scheme of things is pretty affordable for aviation. And so this 175 became the perfect fit. If we go experimental exhibition, we can then pull all of that knowledge that's kicking around in the experimental world, and we can be the first ones ever to put slats on a Cessna. We can be the first one ever to do all these mods that are, have been proven in the experimental world, but to be on a certified airplane would take hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's the function over form. We wanted it to be able to perform very well, but if it sat out in the rain, the hearts wouldn't be broken. It would be fine. It's a truck. But when you get in this particular airplane, you quickly realize it's not your granddaddy's Skylark anymore. It's a very rough, rugged, extreme airplane, but we're doing sub 200 foot takeoffs in an airplane that is a four passenger Cessna Skylark. What exactly is this bomb looking device hanging off the wing? And what this is, we'll go ahead and pop these covers real fast. This is a GPS source, ADSB in, heated pedostatic, wind-powered charges the internal battery, AOA, it's essentially an all-in-one avionics suite, and then this gets wirelessly through Wi-Fi signal shot to the iPad in the airplane, and we get a lot of technology brought into this airplane, which is safety and reliability, and so we've been really happy with this. A certified airplane versus experimental airplane. This certified airplane, every single mod and change has been proven and tested through time. The experimental airplane, everything we're trying is brand new. It's never been done before. Both have been really fun airplanes to build, but it's a cool beauty and the beast scenario we have here.